Is that what you believe? That's what I. That's what I thought. Or do you still think it? I'm not sure. Well, There's a lot that I that like I used to think that I now am. Like I said, that's what I meant by the desert. Um, it's hard to it's No, I, I understand what you're saying, and and but the, if you want to answer right now, the answer is no. Because didn't King David wasn't King David wouldn't have been in this line with you? King David was a Judite. He was from the king, uh, the tribe of Judah. Okay. But, wasn't there another um, one, another king though that? Um, sure who you're talking about. I'm trying to think of who it is. Um, I'm trying to think of the girl that, that went to him. She married more than one king. Oh, uh, are you talking about, uh, what's her name? Sheba? Or no? Uh, she married more than one king and one of the kings that she married, um, he was, he ended up like releasing these people back to their original land. Like he had been keeping them from there. And um, and I just, I had just seen, there's a, there's like an ancient uh, type of scroll that they recently came out with that, or that they recently found that backs it up. I can't think of what it is right now. Yeah. Well, I have, I need to go back home and I need to study some more. Because yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's, no, that's what I'm also talking about as well. Esau, he ain't got no salvation. The Bible tells you that because he's the one doing all this, pushing all these lives, committing all this wickedness, murders. All right, so the Lord he ain't going to save him. He's the only one in the Bible that's not going to receive mercy. But as for the other nations as well, they ain't going to receive mercy. You, you can't mis, uh, misconceive what uh, mercy is. Mercy is only going to be given to Israel. All right, you go out, you got in Isaiah 45 and 4, it tells you that Israel, my, uh, Israel, my servant, and Jacob, mine elect. He said he will yet choose Israel and have mercy on them. So all the other nations ain't going to have mercy. Only Israel will dwell in safety alone and in security. And that's only who's, who he's for. Even who the world called Jesus Christ, he's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. So, you know, and so people want to also twist and pervert that in the, in the churches. Church, the, truth ain't, the truth ain't in the churches. The churches are lying to you. They're meant to lie to you, but they're putting them up as a, a, a white image, which actually that's yes. Serapis Christus uh, also says a Borgia from the Renaissance period when Rodrigo painted, Borgia. There was a king that had a son and he painted off, painted over all of. Yeah, the kind of classic. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it looked like his son instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a, yeah, that's who you're worshiping, Serapis Christus, yep. which goes back also to uh, the Egyptian Empire. So is Yeshua. Can I say Yeshua and have it have it well, mean you what said, I'm meaning for it to you me? You said your name is uh how you say it? Sierra, my name oh, is. Oh Sierra, Sierra? Sierra. Yep. Okay, so your name is Sierra. If I call you Jenny, are you gonna answer me? No. That's and that's what I was saying too though, about the Jesus thing. Right. When he asked me, he said, Is that something you're willing to die over? And I said, I'm not gonna push that on anyone else. But yes, he told me to call him Yeshua. Um, and I didn't mean that as he specifically said that. I meant that as that's the that's what I was being led. I was being led away from the word Jesus and into the Hebrew word. Right. Um, well. But that obviously there's a lot of there must be a lot of misinformation even once you start looking for answers. Well, if you say that, well, you can't say the name wrong. You got to say it the right way. So the name is Yahweh. That's a father. Yeah. Yahweh Shai is the son who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Because again, those are lies you've been taught. Those are still demons, demonic names you're calling on. It matters what name you call on. If I call you again, if I don't call you your name, you know, then, you know, that, that's a problem. You're going to get mad at me, right? If I keep calling you Jenny or I call you Elizabeth and you keep telling me my name is Sierra, when I keep calling you, you're going to get mad. Eventually, you're going to stop talking to me. It's the same way the Lord deals with his people. His name is. That's part of what um what uh, I had been learning was um uh, there's a TikTok out there that's like talking about this and they're like hey watch this Kobe Bryant they, they say Kobe Bryant's name in in Spanish they say it in, in German they say it all oh, over yeah, the world yeah, right yeah. it's still Kobe Bryant no yeah. matter what the language is um I know I'm right about that right you know but yeah it's it's just hard. 
And yeah, how come some churches, like if they're calling on Jesus, how are they still speaking in tongues? Well, because all these churches are divided, man. And again, <laughs> you're gonna, if the Lord wants you to see it, you're going to see it. If not, oh well, the, the scriptures say to speak unto these people, if they forbear, if they hear, they forbear, it's on them. I mean, again, you're walking in a place of lies. You are in the desert. The only place you're going to find understanding is right here. Now, I mean, now here, because, you know, uh, it's my job to come out here and to warn the people of what's coming and to also teach y'all. So do you read the KJV Bible? Yeah, the, yeah that's the closest interpretation. The KJV, yes. So I was wondering, because um, I was thinking about trying to get, they have, now they have Bibles that um, are direct Hebrew and Greek to English. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, those are those are get. Well, that's what they're watered down. Yeah, a lot of these other versions are diluted. They're watered down. They don't give you the understanding, or they they make it effeminate in a way. So the King the King James version is the closest to the the, the closest transliteration that it was from the Greek and the Hebrew. So yeah, but okay. yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for yep. sharing and talking to us. Yep. Okay, here, come on, Nova. Get off so we can get back up that hill. Yeah. I'm not gonna judge you up that hill right now, okay? I just need a minute. Mom, you said we could go back to Canada. Well, I said maybe we can go back. I don't want to go back to First of all, wait, how many all right, getting back to what I was talking about. This is Baruch chapter 2 and uh, 30. It says, because you know what? This is Baruch chapter 2 and 29, 28. It's a lot good. Baruch chapter 2 and 27. It says, and, and the Lord, O Lord, our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all that great mercy of thine. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses on the day when thou didst command him to write thy law, before the children of Israel, saying, If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people. All right? For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people. Now, you just heard this woman just come along for the last however long she was here. All right? The reason I let it go on that long is because which I could have cut it off earlier, but the reason why I allowed it to be like that was because I wanted you to hear an example of what I was talking about today. When you look at how lost our people are, man, you look at how much shit that they absorb rather than hearing the truth, that's why the Lord is the way he is with our people today. That's why we're in the condition that we're in because they have refrained their foot from understanding. All right, they refuse to receive counsel. And look where it's gotten them, like I said, like I was talking about at the very beginning of this lesson today, man. You look at the state of Jacob today, man, and you're just thinking that there, there's no more evil that they could possibly come up with, right? But yet they still continue to refrain themselves, and they they turn the, they turn the face and not the back. All right, after everything that the Lord has been telling you people to do, man, you still don't listen. You still hold on to the to the to the uh, to the obscure and perverted understanding that y'all hold. That's why, and that's why I allowed you to listen to that, man. Just hearing everything she was saying, connecting, all right, it shows you that they st even even after I give you a little bit, all right, even after the Lord gives you some understanding, you won't even take it. You don't understand. It don't resonate with you, and, and it don't it don't ground itself and root itself in you that you got to receive it the way that the Lord tells you, man. This is not this is not your this is not your game. This is not for you to tell the Lord what you're going to do and what you're not going to do or what you're going to receive or what you're going to listen to. The Lord laid down the laws a law. He laid down the understanding. That was to be uh, uh, absorbed by a man of Israel, okay? And the reason I read that scripture in Jeremiah 14 about how our people love to wander—that's proof, all right? That's a she's a, that was a clear indicator, man. And I don't even know if she's an Israelite, man. And that's why I kept you know letting it, you know, seeing how things would resonate with her because the, the spirit, I mean, hey, man, our people are bugged out like that. Our people are extremely bugged out like that, man. And it makes it hard, man, because a heathen is acts the same way. And she looked, she looked like an Edomite. All right, I'm gonna say that. She looked like an Edomite. And that's why I said, well, let's see how this let's see how you deal with this name. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. I didn't have to give it to her. I shouldn't, I didn't really even have to. But hey man, I did that all for a reason. Okay. The Lord, the Lord, man, is coming back to put things in order. Again, man. You, this ain't your creation. So who are you to tell the Lord what, what you're going to do or what you're going to listen to? Or how you're, you're going to establish yourself. Okay? This world is going to be destroyed, man, because it refused to counsel the Lord. It refused to hear and to listen 
what he told you to do. Okay? But pursuing to Israel, he knew that you were a stiff-necked people, man. He knew you were rebellious. All right? You go into... Uh, let me get it. Salaka, just watching the camera. I had to put my phone up. I didn't want to, I didn't want to burn my camera battery, man. All that. Let me see. Let me get the scripture in Jeremiah, the third, I think it's the third chapter. Right here in Jeremiah. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 36 says, Why gaddest thou of us? Why gaddest thou about so much to change thy way? You know, you, you, you. You want to sound eloquent, you want to sound well-spoken, you want to sound sophisticated, man. But you ain't got no idea that all that shit you're taking in, man, is polluting you. You know, she kept talking about her witchcraft and uh, thinking the Holy Spirit's coming into her. No, it didn't, man. No, it didn't. And y'all heard me tell her that, no, that's a demon going into you. Because, hey, man, this weird in all the scriptures what they say, man. That no man shall see the face of the Lord and live. But it also, it said that, the, that if we weren't going to get signs... You know, when you put these scriptures together, man, ain't no possible way the Lord is going to send the angel and speak to you in your vision. Could it happen? Yes, it could. It could happen to the to apostles. It could happen to uh, 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 to, to the brothers, man. And, and the angel could come and be like, I've been sent on the behalf of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know, you know, and speak to him. Or, or like when the angel comes up to the highways, man, and be like, yeah, you know, he could be like, yeah, I was sent on your help from Yahweh Yahweh Shai. It could happen like that, but the very the but the the, uh, the possibility of that man, the odds of that happening, man, are very rare because this is the only way you can speak to the Lord today. We lost that right, man. We lost the ability to be able to to, to uh, communicate with our power, uh, you know, physically and and through the signs and the wonders and miracles, man. Because we were real people who loved to wonder. All right, you see, okay, you see the integrity of our people, man. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's destroyed. Okay? Ugh, Salaka. You got in uh, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 11, it says, Had the nation changed their gods? Were to get no gods? But my people... Shit, man. My pages are torn. The camera's going all crazy. <laughs> it says... Had the nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods. It says, But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Uh, profit. All right. and, and you see how destroyed they are, man. By the shit you put in your mind that you got from the so-called white man, or that you got from another nation or another doctrine or philosophy, man, it's destroyed you, man. And now shame covers you. And, 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 and so what I was going to speak on as well, man, is like, what, don't you want that fixed? Don't you want your condition to come back to a good state? Who wouldn't want this to be fixed, man? You know? What the Lord, what the Lord is promising to the nation of Israel, man, and to the world, is he's promising uh, order and peace. He's, he's promising things to be put back into the right place. But you people don't want it. You rather live, because you know what she was doing, man, when she was talking, I'm just look, looking at her like, okay, y'all can see it, man. Y'all can already see it. I wouldn't have that shit. But then, to make it even worse, she pulls out a fucking cigarette. I'm, I'm, you know, you know, just how people always come, man. You know, the, let me get that Ezekiel. And uh, Ezekiel. Um, let me see. I think it's like Ezekiel 33. It says, Ezekiel 33 and 30, it says, also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and the doors of the houses. You know, I was, when she first approached, she had her two little demon kids, man. I ain't gonna lie, they were being demons. And I could see it. He didn't like it. That little boy, she, and you notice, I don't know if you heard it, she made the comment about how every time when she tries to talk about the Bible, that her son gets, like, this attitude and shit. Like, he don't like it. And I could see it, man. He didn't like it. You know? And, uh, but when she first came up, you know, she was, uh, I thought she was like trying to make a joke at me or something and laugh, but she wasn't, you know. She was acting less like she had been talking or like she knew it was coming. But it said, also the son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, 
Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that coming forth from the Lord. And our people, man, they, they do sound like that, man. They do be like, man, oh, hell yeah, I've been waiting to see this. And then you you start talking with them, and their understanding is just totally obliterate, ob obliviously off. Our people are in a straight, dire condition, man. Our life, our post is going away. And the Lord, man, his, he, had to, he came with the last moment to stop that, to, to, to give us life back. And our people don't even want it. Again, man, like you, it, it's not, man, I don't, I don't, that, 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 ah, oh, spirit. I don't know what to call it, man. I really don't. All I can think is like a paganistic, because pagan, the pagans today, man, they're all about the, just accept our life. Everything you feel, the air, with a leaf touches, the graces, your skin is life. You know, that fucking, I don't know, that hippie spirit, I guess. It's like a hippie spirit. Love everything, feel everything, man. You know, it's not about that, man. We're, we're not, we, the Lord didn't make you to be like, ah, it's just so good. No, man, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be, uh, uh, uh. Hey, what, uh, the, before I got, before I started camp, man, the brother made a comment. I was talking to him on the phone. He said, be a sentinel. We're supposed to be just representatives, man. We do feel the actual, you know, we do get to feel, we do feel. All right, that's what I'm saying. We do have the, 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 uh, the sense of touch and smell and all that. But that's not, you're not supposed to utilize your faculties for that reason to be all, uh, you know, uh, Greek God type of shit, you know, you're, you know, we're supposed to be representatives, man. All right. We're supposed to be soldiers. Our women are supposed to be modest in order. Not all this, because you, you, know, you heard her say, uh, I, I, I feel a lot or I, have, I can't remember how she said it, but that, hey, man, that's what our women are, man feeling based they don't use reason and that's what gets their ass in trouble man always about goddamn emotion man the lord ain't about emotion the lord is not about what you feel that's exactly what i was talking about man that's why again that's why i allowed it to go on that long so you could just hear the the, the, the condition that's our people man so quick to run hey man let me get that in i have that in jeremiah as well let me get it and i'll go back to ezekiel this is um let me see. This is Israel. Uh, like this is Jeremiah chapter eight and uh, five. It says, "Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast deceit. They refuse to return. And you see just how much poison it gives you in your mind. How much, just how deteriorated and dwindled the way you are, man, because you refuse to hear the counsel of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai." You refuse to hearken to the laws and commandments which give you understanding and give you and lead you the right way. You hold it says you hold fast deceit and you refuse to return. It says, I hearken and heard, but they spake not aright. No man repented of him, no man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his course as the horse rushes into the battle. And that's exactly what this little woman did, man. Ran right back to whatever she's gonna do. She continued on in her life like ain't nothing wrong, man. And that's a, and that's why you people are in trouble. That's why the Lord has a has a controversy with you, man. Because you refuse knowledge, you reject it. Okay. So hey, man, there ain't no there ain't no more pity, man, to a person, man, who just c continues to linger and dabble on in in their own filth. The Lord is coming to re to recompense that that mentality, man. And he's coming to set everything in order. And we need it, man. We need it. Because if there, and we, we need it in the way, in the rigorous way that the Lord's going to do it. Because if not, that will continue. All right? Your people's mentalities will continue the way they are, man. Or what did it say uh, in, in Isaiah, the first chapter, man? That you will revolt more and more. All right? You know, you're not going to, you're not going to get right, you know? But this is Ezekiel 33. Lord willing, she don't come back, man. She's coming back. <laughs> Ezekiel 33 and 30. It says, Also thou son of man, the children of thy people stood are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. See, you hear, you hear what you're, you're, you're hear what you're being told what to do, man. But you ain't trying to listen, okay? 
you're being instructed, man, on what path you should take, but you refuse to listen. You reject it. Okay? This is, uh, let's see, this is Jeremiah chapter 6 and 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. Man, that's what the Lord is providing, or he's trying to provide and give. Okay? It says, uh, but they said, we will not walk therein. See, man, you, you again, you rather just hold on to what you got. You rather be wise in your own conceit. Rather do you rather do whatever you want to do, man. You rather tell the Lord what you're gonna do. So the, the, the Lord has a problem with that, man. Okay. It says right here, if you jump up, Jeremiah 6 and 10, it says, To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. And that's actually the whole world. All the inhabitants of the world, man, got a problem with this place. Or they got a problem with the word. Salakia. All right? When it comes to, to, to putting what you need, what, what essentially every single man, woman, and child on this planet needs, even outside of Israel, they refuse it. They have no delight in it. They find it boring, time-consuming. All right? A, 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 a party pooping crasher. You know? Because people, Jake knows too. Jake knows it, man. They know that if they come to the Lord, they got to put all the shit in the way that they do, man. It's, it's an old witness against them, man. Even though Jake is as simple as they are, man, they still know that the shit that they're doing, they would have to stop if they want to call themselves a man of God. And I would use that name God because that's what they call on. When it comes to serving anything about a religion, Jake is hard-headed because they know they got to stop being wicked. So, hey, man, the Lord, the, hey, since you ain't got no delight in the Lord, guess what? The Lord ain't going to have no delight in you. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 17 says, Also I have set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet, but they said, we will not hearken. And there's a lot of that in the scriptures, man. All right, there is a lot of that in the scriptures from the very beginning of the law, man. Let me get one real quick. There's a lot of how you you would you would openly, arrogantly say to the Lord that you're not going to listen. Okay? This is Deuteronomy chapter 31. Hey, that's the spirit that split right to it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 31 and 28. It says, Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves. <laughs> Damn. Again, Moses said, For I know that after my death, he said, For I know. All right, he, he, this, he, uh, another word to know is what knowledge, which is to know, to discern. All right, Moses discerned and had the answer that he knew that you people would go off. All right, he said, for I know that after my death, you will call, you will utterly, actually, you know what? I'm going to start up again at 28. It says, gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers that I may speak these words in their ears. And this is the part I wanted to read and call heaven and earth to record against them. All right, this is rec this is recorded from he through heaven and earth, man. It says, "For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the works of your hands." And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of the song until they were ended, because again, hey, right here. And you jump down to Deuteronomy 32 and 5, it says, They have corrupted themselves. All right? Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. That's how you know our people are off, man. Because they're not bringing what the Lord originally established in them. It's like when you date a woman, man. I, uh, you know, you, 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 uh, you, you, you suck with her, man. You deal with her. You, you, you've been spending your time with her, man. And you notice she starts conforming to you, right? Because she loves you, right? Well, say you're away from her for like a week and a half. You go somewhere, man. You come back and she's speaking a different way, really pertaining to a rebellious woman, man. And you ask her, like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? That that ain't what I taught you. Why, what, what, where did you bring this from? That's essentially what uh, Eve did to Adam. You know, when, uh, when the Lord told Eve to not speak to that man or to take that knowledge, 
Eve came back and gave it to, uh, to Adam. And then when the Lord came to present himself to Adam and Eve, he could tell, like, where, how did you know? Where, I didn't tell you that. You didn't learn that from me. So who did you learn it from? <laughs> oh, man, you, you, you motherfucking Israelites, man, you are in trouble. You're in trouble, man. You really are. You've corrupted yourself. All right, you've, you've, you've put a blemish in you. You used to be undefiled, man, but you allowed another man to come into you. You allowed another nation to deal with you. You allowed other philosophies. All right? And so the Lord, man, is pissed. And it's rightfully, hey, it's rightfully so. You allowed another man to touch you, bro. So like, what, what, how are you going to act like you shouldn't be mad over that, man? And, and you, you want to know why you want to think the Lord shouldn't be mad? Because you learned that shit from the so-called white man. You learned it from this world. All that obscurity, man. A man who's in his right mind, man, would be pissed if this woman cheated on him. That's why you see a lot of Jake men primarily getting on their women about that shit because the scriptures talk about that there'll be a law in their minds that convicts them. And 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 uh, there was a video about, uh, you know, uh, Sakari's little unjust Passover, man. And the title of it was... Um, if uh, you ain't a you ain't a real man of the Lord, if you don't uh, if you uh, don't condemn this shit, and that's how we you should be looking at this whole truth, man. You should be how, how, how you look at the whole aspect of the, of how about Shemuel Shai. You should be pissed off at what goes on here, man. Uh, Ezekiel the ninth chapter, man, says that sign cry for all the abominations done in the street. Look at all the shit going on. Look at look just look, man. Look, look, look how this place is defiled. This this place, man, is defiled. The inhabit let me get it, man. Let me get it. Oh. Let me go ahead and get this, man. This is Isaiah chapter 24. And uh it says uh Isaiah chapter Let's see. I'll start at Isaiah 24 and 1. It says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Because I was saying earlier, man, it don't, well, first of all, I, I haven't said this, but I'll say it now. It don't matter what status you are in this earth, man. You are, you are not, you have no license to sin. It tells you that in Sirach, man. Under no, under no circumstances, man, are you allowed to sin. Okay? We are all under a judgment. We are all under a law, man. We are all under principles, man, that we're supposed to be following and under the order of. And it don't matter who the fuck you are, man. It don't matter if you're fucking Obama. It don't matter if you're Biden, Joe Biden. You have a, you have uh, laws to abide by. And if you don't, man, you're going to be dealt with. Okay? It don't matter who you are. So the land, so the Lord is telling you right there, He's coming to make an, an emptiness of all of that. No matter your rank, your status. If you if you ain't bringing, if you ain't uh, fulfilling the measure of the Lord that is, that is given to every man, woman, and child on the earth, man. And you you fall short, and the Lord's gonna deal with you. So he said that he just said it right there. It says the land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Like I just said, the earth is damn. <laughs> it says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants. Salakia, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Ugh. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Salakia. <clears throat> Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. So, and like I was saying, that's how the earth is defiled. All right? It's corrupted, man. It's polluted. It's a lot, man. Having some uh, issues lately, I guess. But yeah, man. The earth is polluted. 
So the Lord needs to fix it. All right. You have that. You have another Psalms, man. Uh, I think it was David who said, man, it is time, O Lord, to do thy work. It is time to work. It's come, you, you have that saying, uh, prepare to meet thy maker. Well, our, our maker is coming back to re to reorder everything, man. All right, that's how you say it. To put all things back in order. All right. Whether you like it or not, man, it's coming. It's coming in the way that it's going that the Lord declared it to be, with, by fire. Because only that fire, only that fire is strong enough to purge you, man. It, hey, man, ass whoopings don't work no more, man. All right, people getting their asses whooped on the streets, getting jumped, getting beat, uh, crashing. It ain't doing nothing for them no more. Like you saw with this woman, man. She, she, she talked about being raped and shit, man. And you know, she instead, what did she do? She lashed out at the Lord. She got mad at the Most High, right? She could just tell you, you can't be doing that, man. It ain't. It, it, you, the scriptures tell you, hey, let me get it. The scriptures tell you, man, to not blame the Lord when you go through a situation. That's you, man. Ugh, let me get it right here it says in uh, Sirach 18 and 20 it says before judgment examine thyself and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy and and, and like I was telling because what I told her earlier I was like well people think that you know uh, you know they don't have a question like well why me what did I do well hey man you deserve a judgment for your past life for things that you did in your past life or what you did now, man. When you go through something, man, it's a rebuke. All right? It's a rebuke. Now, to the elect, it's a chastisement. And, but there are rebukes. But we understand it that it's, it's to get our ass right. That's what it's supposed to do, man. When you go through something bad, when you go through something hard or, or troublesome, it's supposed to correct you, man. The Lord said, man, that he was going to correct you in measurement. That's how he does it. By, by checking your ass, man. Smack you, spank you. Isn't that what correction makes? Oh shit! Okay, sorry, sorry. You know, I won't do it no more. You know. But today, man, people people lash out against the Most High about it. They curse them, or they become atheists. Even though essentially you already still are. But you know what I'm saying, man. Like you, you blame the Lord. It says, uh, let's see. It says I'm gonna jump down to verse twenty. Three, it says, Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempted the Lord. Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end in the time of vengeance. And our people don't. They don't understand that every everything that they say in their mind, man, has a, has a judgment and a punishment for it, man. And if you're busy cussing at the Lord or cursing them out because you got, you know, this done to you or that, there's a wrath waiting for that, man. 